Pancake everyone! Today we will discuss amazing inventions that may become commonplace in the near future and accessible to anyone interested. Let's start with virtual reality glasses, but not from Apple. Recently, the Israeli company Sightful introduced the world's first screenless laptop called Spacetop. The device fits into an 11-inch casing and features a 5G module, a Snapdragon 865 chip, an Adreno 650 graphics processor, 8GB of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of storage. The battery provides up to 5 hours of autonomous operation. To see the screen, special glasses are required, allowing users to view a desktop image of approximately 100 inches, where multiple desktops can be displayed simultaneously for multitasking. The space top comes with a specially designed operating system. The head of Sightful emphasizes that this is not a prototype or beta version, but a fully-fledged consumer product. What else should you know about virtual reality glasses? They are not just for entertainment. They are used for various therapeutic purposes. For example, they can simulate situations that might trigger a patient, whether they are dealing with PTSD or specific phobias like fear of heights, public speaking, flying or confined spaces. In therapy based on virtual reality, the virtual world provides an opportunity for patients to confront and control their reactions, while therapists monitor all indicators and can stop the session if needed. Now a bit more about medicine. It's no secret that robots have been used in surgery for many decades, spanning various fields from urology and gynecology to ophthalmology and organ transplantation. Thanks to robotic assistance, surgeries can be performed with greater precision, smaller incisions and reduced blood loss. Robots can execute actions through smaller incisions, resulting in less pain for patients and faster healing. These methods reduce hospital stays, blood transfusions and the need for painkillers. Robotic systems like Da Vinci or Versius not only make patient rehabilitation easier, but also lessen the physical burden on surgeons. And if you think exoskeletons for people who have lost their ability to walk are merely science fiction accessible only to Tony Stark's friends, you'll be surprised. For medical purposes, exoskeletons like hybrid assistive limb have been used for about 10 years. Yes, they may be bulkier than the ones shown in movies. However, this year, the Shanghai startup Hypershell presented a foldable exoskeleton that helps users increase their endurance and reduce the strain on their bodies during long-distance journeys. The lower body device is adjustable to fit the user's waist size. It utilizes a built-in synchronous motor with constant magnets with the power of 1 horsepower. As a result, travelers experience less strain, find it easier to run or climb. Omega supports running speeds up to 20 km per hour and provides a range of up to 25 km on a single charge. The exoskeleton is equipped with special joints to ensure smooth movement. The device operates in nine different modes, including walking, running, climbing and cycling. An artificial intelligence mechanism predicts the user's next move and smoothly coordinates auxiliary outputs, learning and adapting over time for more intuitive operation. For longer journeys, Hypershell adds two lithium battery packs to the exoskeleton, weighing only 400 grams. Hypershell believes that their exoskeletons will be of interest to climbers, cyclists, runners and search and rescue personnel. By the way, about batteries. It's no secret that many things around us run on electricity. It's also no secret that the growing popularity of electric cars is due to constantly increasing battery power and decreasing their size, and perhaps one way to make electric cars more accessible. But for many, the use of electric cars still seems doubtful. What if it runs out of charge at the most inconvenient moment? The startup Ample asked this question and developed fully automated battery swapping stations for electric vehicles. The battery replacement takes only 10 minutes. One such station already performs 100 replacements per day, and their number will grow. The startup starts with 12 stations in California. But you may ask, don't different car manufacturers use different batteries? That's true. But the startup isn't naive. They designed modular batteries that can be installed in any car in place of the accumulator. And they also engineered the electronics to work with different systems in cars. And the startup is not just planning to increase the number of their stations. They have received a grant to install even more stations in California and have signed a contract for a similar network in Europe. They are also working on collaborating with car manufacturers to have their electric cars sold with modular batteries instead of standard accumulators. In the Bay Area, the startup collaborates with Uber, 
a special program sends drivers to the station with the shortest queue for battery replacement. Besides saving the driver's time on such refueling, the company guarantees the maximum possible use of one battery. Storing energy effectively is one thing, generating it is another. And there are plenty of projects in that area too. We won't talk about hydroelectric power stations. Everyone has known about them for a long time. Today we'll tell you about underwater M wave stations, which unlike competitors, are designed not to interfere with navigation. These stations convert the energy of ocean waves into electricity. Another advantage of M-Wave is their ability to withstand damage during severe storms. It is planned that the entire systems of membrane devices installed in coastal areas at a depth of 10 meters will not only electrify previously inaccessible islands or increase the amount of energy obtained through environmentally friendly methods, but also help supply enough energy to offshore oil and gas platforms and optimize the work of marine wind turbines. Another startup, Nova Innovation, has decided to use the energy of tides to charge electric cars. Not only have they developed turbines that generate electricity using tidal waves, but they have also partnered with Tesla to develop and deploy a charging station for recharging electric cars. Scaling up the technology remains the next step to make the use of electric vehicles significantly more eco-friendly. Currently, the startup is focused on the coastal areas of Nova Scotia and Canada. However, they have plans to utilize their technology throughout Europe. What about solar energy? Yes, solar panels were invented long ago. One problem – they take up so much space, sometimes entire fields. This is not quite suitable for industrial scales. Moreover, it doesn't solve the issue of necessary recharging for electric cars or drones. But that's in the past. At EMIT, they have already invented super-thin fabric elements for harvesting solar energy. And when we say super thin, we mean it. The thickness of the elements directly generating energy is less than 0.05 millimeters. And if you thought that their main advantage is the much smaller size, wait. Research has shown that these elements are 18 times more powerful than conventional elements, based on the proportion of wattage produced per kilogram of construction. Well, you can imagine the wide range of applications for such elements. Not only can they be used in densely built up areas, but they can also be applied to cars, drones, and you can even make clothing out of them. Then charging outlets for phones may become unnecessary. After all, contactless charging technology exists. Overall, we believe you now understand the full potential of this invention. And what about harnessing energy from our own bodies? The Canadian company Bionic Power is not hiding that they would like to help people charge their smartphones from their own bodies. And before you start shaking your head and refuse to implant any chips, that won't be necessary. This invention is currently aimed only at the military. To avoid carrying heavy batteries, the company proposes carrying a mobile electric generator called Powerwalk. It consists of two parts that attach to the thigh and calf. While walking, when a person bends and straightens their leg, both parts of the generator shift and set an electromotor in motion, which generates energy to recharge the battery. This device weighs 1.8 kilograms, but again, it's not for us, it's for the military. A representative from Bionic Power claims that at a speed of 5 km per hour, power walk can produce voltage from 10 to 32 volts and power up to 10 watts, and if descending quickly from a hill, the power can increase to 25 watts. Another interesting feature of the device is that it can be switched to exoskeleton mode, and thanks to the batteries, can assist soldiers during walking. And here is another invention from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It seems they were inspired by the idea that Tony Stark allegedly started there. So, it's a headset with X-ray vision. In reality, the supervision is rather simulated using augmented reality and special markers that should be placed on objects. The XAR headset uses RFID markers to identify objects and determine their location in space. This data is then overlaid on a virtual map and displayed as markers in the glasses, showing the wearer where to move to find the desired object. In fact, the system doesn't see anything, but cleverly simulates vision by creating a virtual map of the object's location in a specific place. It is expected that using the XAR headset will make life easier for warehouse workers, as it will be easier for them to find the necessary boxes with parts or goods. This can be seen as an alternative to automating this industry. Instead of loading the locations of goods into the memory of robots, human loaders will receive real-time information about their locations. 
The accuracy of positioning an item is up to 10 cm, and the accuracy of detecting the correct object among many others is up to 96%. Today we talk a lot about ecology, about environmentally friendly ways of generating and using energy. But environmental protection doesn't stop there. Many companies and startups are also focused on simply reducing waste, whether it's food or textiles. Speaking of which, have you ever thought about how much fabric goes into children's clothing? During growth spurts, a child might only wear a pair of pants or a sweater a few times before outgrowing them. This is what aerospace engineer Ryan Mario pondered when his nephew was born. The result of these reflections is clothing that grows with a child. It's no wonder Ryan based his project on space technologies. The clothing made of polyester can compress and stretch according to the body's measurements. Contrary to expectations, it feels pleasant to the touch and breathes well. The company Petit Pli eventually expanded its clothing line to include adult models, making life easier for pregnant women, as the dress made from this fabric can adjust to the body's changes during pregnancy. But that's not all. On the brand's website, you can find waist bags, backpacks and other accessories with expandable volume that often comes in handy. They stretch as well. It may not be Hermione's bag, but it's a start, agree? And more news about clothing, specifically about the popular clothing item – jeans. Their widespread popularity is easy to understand. Comfortable, durable and versatile. But with such a wide range of jeans available, fashion trends can make it challenging to find the perfect fit. For such cases, a special 3D printer was invented. Yes, you heard that right. Now 3D printers can be used not only for printing plastic figurines or decorations, patented under the name Unspun, this printer allows for printing custom jeans, simplifying production and creating perfectly fitting clothing based on individual measurements. The ecological aspect is also present. When printing such pants, there will be almost no waste. Many people are concerned that robots will take over jobs from humans. Whether it's about neural networks processing photos or drones delivering goods, people worry about losing their jobs. However, this concern typically doesn't extend to dull and monotonous tasks. Take, for example, the world's first mobile painting robot Mara from a Singaporean startup. It can be programmed from a regular tablet and has a 360-degree view using 15 sensors. When it detects people in front of it, it stops painting. It avoids windows and doors and sprays paint on walls perfectly. The robot manufacturer claims that with Miro, painting walls is 10 times faster. It allows an 80% reduction in dependence on the workforce, which is often insufficient in many countries. But not all new technologies are meant to be productive or practical. Sometimes even the most advanced startups can remind us of something important. What is accessible to some may be completely incomprehensible to others. One such invention in 2021 won the award for the most unique invention of the year. The sound shirt is clothing that allows people with hearing impairments to feel the music. 16 micro-actuators embedded in the fabric convert music into vibrations in real time. It's a kind of translation of sound into a tactile language. To enable a deaf person to feel the buzzing and oscillations on their skin, one of the main challenges for the designers was the placement of the orchestra's map on the garment. Instruments producing high-pitched sounds were placed closer to the face, while low-pitched sounds like the double bass and drums were positioned in the lower part of the shirt. According to the designers, this way a person can fully immerse themselves in the musical composition. Perhaps it's not the same as actually hearing the composition, but just look at those delighted faces. And finally, we save the most exciting part for last. Something that we've seen for years in science fiction movies and now seems closer than ever. Flying taxis. Yes, if you look at all the current examples, it's not exactly Corbin Dallas's car. It's more like a hybrid of a helicopter and an airplane. But it's still the future that has already arrived. Both Uber, which is actively working on scaling up and expanding its fleet, and the Ehang 216 are not yet ubiquitous. But the two-seater Ehang 216 is already conducting test flights in 15 cities in China and Europe. It has even been granted permission for flights in the USA. And yes, it's an unmanned vehicle with a payload capacity of 260 kilograms that can take you somewhere in as little as 21 minutes at a speed of up to 130 kilometers per hour. What did you expect? It's a city taxi, not an intercity bus. We hope you learned something new today and were pleasantly surprised. 
See you in our future videos.